Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I want to remind you that the journey is uniquely yours. It's your story. Remember that you are the author of that story. Your beliefs, your ideas about self, all these things are projected. And your world reflects that and magnifies those aspects of yourself back to you. So as you go about your way, you have your hiccups or you have your moments where you're not sure what the next step is. Simply trust in who you are. Trust in a story that you are creating every moment, every thought. And everything works out divinely. And that's the beautiful aspect of this whole reality. We're told that we must forge our way, that we must compete or outwork the next man. It's foolishness. It's foolishness. Trust in you and your idea of self and everything else will reveal itself to you. And along you, a lot of the way you will always change. Evolution is inherent. That's okay. But the main takeaway is to have a vision for what you see for yourself. I'm not talking about a grand life vision. Small vision. What's your next two minutes look like? What's your next ten minutes look like? What's your next few hours look like? And go from there. We keep that attitude of gratitude present in any and all that you do. And don't worry about the the ones that you come across on your paths, whether it be situations or people. Don't worry about the seeming resistance to make come up because it's not that. You're witnessing old evidence from old beliefs that you have. And every moment you're changing those beliefs, you're changing the idea of self, you're changing your idea of what the world is and what it looks like. And as you do so, you will have old reminders come up from an older version of yourself. But it doesn't mean you have to pay it any mind. Don't give it any kind of attention. Continue to move towards your ideal version of yourself. That's all that truthfully matters in your life, in your reality. One step ahead of the other. That's it. There's a reminder to trust in yourself and trust in your God, whatever that looks like for you. But know that any and all things are working out for you. And there's a certain kind of grace that comes with that, a level of forgiveness in which we can forgive ourselves for uh, things that we have, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have done or that we haven't done. And you get a different level of peace because you know that whatever you are called to do, no matter how minor or major, is part of the divine orchestration of your life. It's part of the masterpiece, which is your life. So trust in that and honor yourself before you look for validation from anyone else outside of you. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.